we were there and now we're not there. Yeah, you're right. There we are. Okay. All right. Welcome to the Conservation Commission meeting for February 6th, 2019. You want to read us in, uh, Paul? Okay. All public hearings and meetings heard by the Rainham Conservation Commission on Wednesday, February 6, 2019 at 5.30 p.m. in the Rainham Veterans Memorial Town Hall, Donald O. McKinnon Meeting Room, 558 South Main Street, Rainham, Mass., are relative to filings and joint hearings and or meetings under Mass General Laws Chapter 131, Section 40, as amended in the Town of Rainham, Wetland Protection Bylaw. Thank you, Paul. All right, first on the agenda is a continued notice of intent DEP file 2690965, New State Highway, Church Street, Map 16, Pasha 55, Daniel Andrade. We have received a letter indicating that they'd like to uh, continue this to February uh, 20th. Uh, so we need a motion. I'll make a motion. Yeah, continue uh, DEP file number 269-0965, New State Highway, Church Street, Map 16, Parcel 55, Daniel Andrade, River, uh, Raynham, Riverwalk, LLC, to February 20th. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Okay, next on the agenda, Notice of Intent, Rainham Sewer Department, Cedar Mill Drive, Juniper Hill, and Mill Street. <coughs> Date okay? Yes. Yes. What's that? Yep. Pursuant to the Massachusetts Wetlands Protection Act, Mass General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40, the Town of Rainham, Wetlands Protection Bylaw, the Rainham Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on a notice of intent filed by the Rainham Board of Sewer Commissioners for the phases for Phase 7, Sewer System Expansion. The public meeting will be held on February 6, 2019 at 5.30 p.m. at the Veterans Memorial Town Hall, 558 South Main Street. The filing is available for public review at the Rainham Conservation Office. Thank you, Paul. Okay. Good evening. For the record, I'm Amanda Houle with Ty and Bond. I'm joined this evening by Rob Carey, the Sewer Department Superintendent. And I'm just going to be reviewing part of their Phase 7 sewer expansion work, um, similar to a lot of the sewer expansion that they've been doing across town, uh, just looking to connect some of these residential areas into the existing sewer system. Um, it's essentially three residential areas that are following, falling within your jurisdiction. Um, the first one is on Cedar Mill Drive. The second one is Juniper Hill Drive. And then the last one is on Mill Street. Um, on Cedar Mill Drive, I have a, a marked up plan right here of it. A portion of the sewer main will be falling within the 100 foot buffer zone to BBW. And I've sort of color coded all these different plan sections to so the hot pink, if you're able to see it. Um, it's going to be the new sewer main. So essentially all of these sewer main segments are going to be constructed within the existing road, <coughs> the road right of way. Um, so there will be a, a pavement <coughs> approximately five feet wide. The new eight inch sewer main will be placed within <coughs> the roadway. It will connect in to wherever the existing sewer terminates, which in this case um, <coughs> is right off Center Street and it tees right into Center Hill Drive. So impacts are pretty minor. It will just be um, some trenching within the pavement restoring it, repaving. Um, as appropriate, we'll be putting in um, silt or straw wattles and silt fence. Um, so you can kind of, you'll see our erosion controls indicated on the plan where we fall near resource areas. So this is <coughs> the first project area. It's approximately 750 linear feet of new sewer. And then I'm going to move on to Juniper Hill Drive. How, how close are you to the wetland? To the wetland we are. We are only within, so the wetland is the green. Yep. And the orange is your 25 foot okay. local buffer. And then the bright yellow, which it might be hard for you to see from there, is your 100 foot buffer zone. So only this piece okay. falls within the 100 foot buffer zone. Um, and just uh, another point of interest, I was going to discuss this a little bit later, but all of this work is exempt under the Wetlands Protection Act, um, similar to most of the reasons we come for you with our other projects. Um, we are working within bordering land subject to. Uh, storm flowage and so that part is not exempt under the Wellness Protection Act so that's we do appreciate you uh, yeah. sharing that with us yeah. it I notes demolishing an existing storm drain <coughs> I'm 
this plan sheet? Yeah, right below the circle at the end of the road. Oh, okay. Can you read that far from the side? Sorry. Bear with me. Okay. Yeah, there will be new storm drains and catch basins. I know. Um, so abandoned existing storm drain, and then I guess it's just it doesn't really connect to anything. I would have to look into that. So there's a tall bench, and then there, yeah, and there, the two one on either side. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know why that would be abandoned, do you, Rob? At the yeah. end. Okay. I could get clarification on that. Um, it's not. Well, it was seen. Uh, uh, if no you look at the uh, the existing line there, mm -hmm. it would seem to me that they have a, a a line on this front of the house there, okay. and then they're putting a new line to yep. uh, our, uh, because you might you have a a sewer crossing, mm -hmm. and the crossing will be if you look over here. This, the uh, drainage seems to be uh, right up on the uh, on the sewer. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, you don't have enough clearance. Okay. Between the sewer and the um, and the drain, <coughs> so they're putting a new drain to to account for that. Okay. Because you can't have if you look on the profile mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, down down, here. down on the bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see where it says six plus zero and seven plus zero. Oh, station six. Yeah. If you see that our existing our 26 foot, it says 26 linear foot, yep. or 12 inch RCP. It's right there, smack in the middle of the uh, sewer line. Okay. So that's why. Okay. Right. I do have a question for you. Yes. Uh, is this, I can't remember, does this street have a granite curb on either side? Or a sidewalk? It doesn't have a sidewalk. It doesn't have a sidewalk. It has a beaten uh, uh, asphalt sidewalk. Asphalt sidewalk. Is, yep. is, is it granite curved? So, or is it just? I don't know. Um, no. Uh, it's not what they labeled it here, so uh, like a Cape Cod burn. Mm -hmm. Cape Cod yeah. burn. Yeah. yeah, typically that's what I see out here is yeah. Cape Cod burn, but. Um, I get so focused on the wetlands and the wetland mm. resource area. I'm just trying to see. Well, and, and, to the curbing. and the only reason I'm asking is I'm trying to see in my mind is there already mm -hmm. something there in place, or is it straight from Overland roadway Overland. Yeah. right off into the wetland? That's what I'm just trying to get a visual. So the location where that's going to be abandoned, though, is I mean your wetlands down here, and so that storm drain being abandoned is sort of up there. So it, it and there are existing. Um, storm drains farther down that can inter intercept that flow too, so you can see that there's some catch basins down there. So that helps at all. So, Mr. Chairman, question here though: Why are we showing a uh, hundred foot buffer zone to uh, border the land subject to flooding? We don't have a requirement. Like. It, how the bylaw reads and how it's structured, it looks. It, it says there is a 100 foot buffer zone to the aforementioned resource areas and because the BLSF is within that chunk. No. Okay. No. Yeah, no, we okay. don't do buffer okay. zone to uh, floodplain. Okay. <coughs> I'll remember that for next time. And if the commission's okay, I'll just move on to the next street, mm -hmm. uh, Juniper Hill Drive. scenario residential roadway uh, terminating in a cul-de-sac there are no wetlands um, we actually fall outside so there the Taunton River is down this way so we come close to the 200 foot riverfront area mm -hmm. um, but we're just right outside it's, of it it's just Forge River actually yeah. oh the Forge River my, yes thank you um, and then uh, BLSF is this pink line down here and I've just outlined the roadway in the dark gray and the mm -hmm. sewer main is there. So this one was just close enough that we wanted to show the commission, um, you know, that we did our due diligence and, and, you know, despite us being in close proximity, we are outside of that area. Um, and this sewer segment is approximately 1,000 linear feet. Again, it'll be about a five foot wide trench, um, eight inch mm -hmm. sewer being placed in there. And you're going to have to abolish the stone drains on this one as well, correct? We're noted, yes. <coughs> I don't believe all of them, but if there are conflicts, depending on what the cross section reads, mm -hmm. I have to look at it closely to be able to point out which ones. I don't have them all memorized. Here, here, here. Just 
tie into your existing drain manhole. Um, there's one here. It'll be a demolished and abandoned that I see. I think that's the only one. Yeah, there are just some some portions that just come a little too close, and you have that utility okay. conflict. Um, but that is that's the only one on that street. Um, so if there are no questions, we can do more questions at the end. I'll just keep moving well, through these areas. The only question is obviously the, the engineer that is responsible for this should should have been here too. Okay. To answer those technical yes. questions. Yes. Um, so Mill Street, this is divided into two plan sheets. This is the western end where it tees off onto King Philip Street. There is a BBW on the opposite side of King Philip. Mm -hmm. um, so that was flagged, but we're just right outside of the 100 foot buffer zone, which is this yellow line. And the pink again is our sewer main. So the real area of interest on Mill Street is where we are spanning over Pine Swamp Brook. Um, this is busy <laughs> trying to figure out which colors to use here. Uh, we have an existing pump station yep. that's right here. And again, the bright pink is our new sewer, eight inch, um, same trench dimensions that are gonna go in here. And it's about 1500 linear feet of sewer mm -hmm. that's going in on Mill Street. And this portion here that's gonna be spanning the brook. Uh, through discussions with the town, we have learned that there are plans to replace the culvert uh, that conveys that brook beneath the road. And so that sort of complicated the design. Um, you know, we ideally like to put it within the roadway, but since we knew it was gonna be torn up and potentially redesigned and might be, um, you know, a different elevation or um, <coughs> something of that nature, we weren't able to do that. Another alternative was to span and drill under the brook, but that um, obviously has a lot of yeah. impacts. And so the alternative that we settled on is suspending the main against the bridge abutment. Mm -hmm. um, so it'll be sort of out in the open, but the elevation that it's going to be constructed at will allow for it to be incorporated into the new road and culvert co cover uh, when that happens to be designed and replaced. And so I have it's, for it's work being done on that road now, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there work being done on that bridge? No, right now. No, not right now. No. Well, I, I saw some activity down there. Probably part of the road. Oh, the like up at the top. They're, mm -hmm. they're doing it by the, by the uh, mall, by the little strip yeah. mall yeah. back there. But that's, this is really down. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so, it's, so this is the bridge. Um, the pump station's going to be sort of off here. Yeah. Yep. And okay. essentially, we're going to have metal brackets that are going to be bolted and in. You just suspend yeah, the line. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And so the yep. pipe will go right here, right, right above the culvert opening, so it won't in any way decrease that opening and ability of this this crossing to convey um, you know typical flows mm -hmm. or storm flows and when this is reconstructed um, it'll just be able to be incorporated into that design so in the future once that is reconstructed is the game plan to leave it suspended or to actually incorporate it into the roadway once they redo the culvert I don't know um, how much the design has advanced for the road, yeah. if at all. But I understand what they're going to do with that. That's, it's actually going to be an 8-inch sewer main along Mill Street. Yeah. And temporarily crossing that stream, um, you can actually hang a 6-inch pipe. So it's going to get reduced to 45 around that culvert. And then when they go do the culvert, uh, as part of that work, they're going to add additional manholes just on each side of the uh, stream and then connect an 8-inch. So it'll be contiguous 8-inch at that point. But, uh, that'll be done when the culvert has changed as part of the culvert work. The reason we're reducing the 6-inch is it'll make it easier for them guys to get it out of there. It'll be lighter pipe and okay. suspended against the bridge. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And this is a cross-section, too. Yeah. If this helps illustrate it. So this would be the face of the bridge abutment. And so there's going to be a stainless steel rod that's going to go in, and then it'll be bolted this way and then it'll be suspended so kind of, and it'll be um, lined with a HDPE jacket to help yeah we don't want to protect it in the on the, the yeah. river <coughs> exactly so that's that's pretty much the nuts and bolts of everything um, I'd like to open open it for discussion or questions um, anything any project areas no, not really. okay. 
Anyone in the audience have any questions concerning this? Okay. Mr. Chairman, I do have one question. Yeah. Um, I know we just I know in the previous two sites, Juniper Hill and uh, Cedar Hill, we talked about those street drains that are going to be abandoned. Yes. Um, is there something in place to replace those abandoned Not street drains? That I was I'm just trying to in the plans. Um, I, I think it's just going to be overland flow that'll then go into the next downstream and then into the catch basins. I don't see yeah, that's, a, that's a good point. If they're abandoning the sewers, what are they replacing? It right. Is there enough? Is there enough room <coughs> to take on that additional volume at the other manholes? Oh, where was the one we were abandoning on this? <coughs> so this storm drain here is going to be abandoned. There are a series of other ones. So there, there's a set here. There are more here. And the reason I ask, so if that one's there. being abandoned, yeah. is that going to cause street flooding there because it was abandoned and there's no place for that water to go? Or can it pitch to... They were all daisy chain. It well, looks like it's going to pitch <coughs> and just overland flow into well, the next Well, that's an easement that goes that down to a retention yes. pond that's down toward the back there. Just to the, to the left of that um, purple line coming into the, that L in the cul-de-sac. Mm -hmm. There's an easement that goes down to a, a huge, re no, that, no, your first bump this there, episode. right. That goes down to a retention pond that's right there. And I'm assuming that that sewer line feeds that retention pond. And if it's going to go over land, it's going to go uh, wash out that whole area. I don't see a oh, it's green there. line that comes this way. It, it This looks... <laughs> Closed and that it goes this way, but <coughs> so you're saying the detention pond is out here? Yep. Okay. It's an 18-inch pipe that goes this way to the water. And I can certainly no, obtain in that, sec in that section of the lower in the drainage. In that section, the sewer is actually above. They are lower in the drainage to allow for the sewer. Look at the profile on the bottom. Mm -hmm. You will see that. Right around, we see where it says four plus zero. And that's exactly of the area you're talking about. Yep. The, uh, they have a they have an open drain. Mm -hmm. That they were it's right uh, that house that says uh, number twenty seven Juniper Hill Road. Okay. You can see the surface it goes drain. Those. It right goes where it says, the two. Yeah, we see where it says twelve inch RCP coming out of the street mm -hmm. towards okay, that house. Right. Here. right. And that's where it's crossing. That's what I. That's what they are lowering the drain. Okay. To accommodate that. And so then this drain feeds, likely feeds out then into. Okay. I can chat with my engineers too and get more. Yeah. Next time, bring them over yes, here because the, yeah. the, your primary function is to talk about the wetlands. Yeah, exactly. And if the commission has yeah. technical questions about that, <laughs> no, should, we shouldn't be the ones presenting the project. Sounds like we need to continue this. I would think. I mean, if the commission feels that they have uh, questions and other satisfactory answer, you can continue it. <coughs> Yeah, good point. I know. Okay. Anything else, gentlemen? You would you like us to close this? I would prefer that, um, and I, I would be happy to provide in a, a memo um, just to follow up contingent upon the closing clarification on uh, what the, the drainage plan is for that. Okay. Okay, let's, let's close it. Looking for a motion? Yep. On the notice of 10 for Rain M Sewer Department, Seaton Drive, Juniper Hill, and Mill Street. We'll close, close the hearing. Yep. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to close. Approved. Thank you so much Thank for you. your time.
Okay. Do we get a chance to do water conditions on this? We'll get an old we'll put together a standard. Yeah. Yeah. But I would like to have that uh, note from their engineer yeah. Yeah. as part of that water yeah. condition. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Yeah, it, it'll be part of the order of conditions. Well, then, yeah, well, the memo should be uh, signed by the engineer. Yeah, no, absolutely. Okay. <coughs> okay. okay, moving on. Uh, issuance of the order of conditions, DEP file number 2690971, Sparrow Way, Lot 31, Map 9, Partial 207-30, C. Lee Castanetti, Rain and Preserve. Not ready to go. Yeah. That's it for the formal. Any informal um, information we need to work with? Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know if we're doing that. Under informal correspondence, but I don't know. Doesn't matter. You're busy hearing anywhere on this, and we're going to add information. But we get this crap all the time. Yeah. You don't have Very enough. unprepared, yeah. you know? No. Her, her and then they're still building the town. That's why I really didn't want to continue. Right. As you said, yeah. they, they, if you continue, they, they come back here to fix their mistake. They, 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 there's no reason why the engineer shouldn't be here to answer those questions. You mean they ask a question and it's like, well, I don't know. Well, then what the hell are you doing here for? Yeah. Yeah, this isn't the first time. Yeah, yeah it, uh, I mean, look at the, even the notice for the hearing. Not properly advertised. I mean, that's how we've done that. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. And, then, and the town is filled for the yeah, second. Right. Yeah. Twice for the. For yeah, the, right. Nice. Doing it twice. It's awesome. Right. And we, then there's some people that are going to go on TV and, you know, knocking on the town for wasting too much money and, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Anyway. Okay. Um, everybody so, have a chance. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um. They didn't put it on the agenda. I just yeah. Okay, we did the order of conditions. Yep. Yeah, so we uh, uh, did get a, uh, a complaint. Uh, look, well, quickly. The sewer is on uh, Broadway, and the, um, the connection at the um, post office. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. so yeah. that's going very well. Um, they, um, they have the erosion control all the way in. Um, if you want to pass that along, and uh, so that connection uh, uh, to the sewer, they uh, they cut the pipe that's going to the uh, um, septic tank. Okay. Yep. And they were and they made a new connection uh, today. Yep. And then what they're gonna do tomorrow is he's gonna uh, the pump guy is coming in at 7 a.m. to pump the tank, and then he'll. Uh, well, fill it in at uh, 8 o'clock. So I told him I want to see that. So make sure mm. that it's done properly. Okay. And uh, so what I, we result on is if it, if it's, when they pump it, and then I see water coming in, then that means the tank is compromised. And then they have to uh -huh. do the whole, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, it means it's if, been leaking. Right. So if right. something's coming in, then it must have been going out. Right. Okay. So if it's leaking, then they need to. Right. It's a hazard. Right. right. That's what I told them yeah. to. Yeah. After they pump it at seven, to not fill it in. So it's give leaking. an hour to see if it's seeping. Right. Okay. All right. And then the other item is uh, 483 um, South Main Street. So it's single family. Uh, we did have, uh, receive a complaint in the office that they don't uh, work mm -hmm. and uh, cutting trees. <coughs> I did go out there to take a look. 
I never asked Gail to uh, uh, get the information as far as the ownership is concerned, so we can draft a letter, uh, a notice of uh, violation okay. to them. However, there's no, nothing has been done to alter the ground itself. The ground is intact. What they did was the four trees that they cut, they cut it right to the ground level, and they did not pull any stumps. And then they did a lot of brush uh, clearing. So they would just need permission from us to do that. That's as right. Opposed to and then they, an uh, like, a couple of the pines, all they did was, you know, strip, yeah. uh, prune it, if you will, cutting the lower limbs. Yeah. And so, but we should. Is that, is that right of, in the wetlands they were doing that? Uh, or is it some, within uh, the buffer? Uh, well, it's. So you have an actual stream. Right. Okay. So they're in the river front. And yep. then the wetlands associated with the riverfront, but they have not. They did not alter the bank of the stream, and then all their tree, all their uh, what I will cons uh, assume is the firewood. Some of them they cut for firewood. It's the hardwood, uh, but not the pines. And then there's there's the court. They put them in court, almost right up against the uh, stream. So they will need to move that. Okay. But other than that, they really they didn't do anything that will alter the hydrology. Okay. Right. So, do we need to have them come in, or are we just going to send no, them no, just, a letter? No, no. I think just a letter telling them they not to do it anymore. That they need for, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That they are, we're watching them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. And then uh, we received a request for certificate of compliance for uh, Richmond Street, the one that have been back and forth, and uh, well, we did go out there. So I need to. I'm going to write a letter to them. Mm -hmm. uh, they have not met the requirements for certificate of compliance. If you remember, we only saw one pipe crossing the driveway. Remember oh, this is the new, the new yeah, construction. The new, the, okay. Yeah. Yep. In the order of conditions, we actually called for three pipes. And they only did one? And they only did one. Will the three pipes alleviate some of the flooding there? Well, it will provide for more water to flow. And that was the reason, even though they sized, of, uh, and said they only needed one, we said use the same size, but we want three, just in case there's an obstruction or anything like that. And then um, but the other item is anyway, we asked for two calendar years of before okay, he can, and they have not met that okay. one, you know. So, right. so has he been informed, and he needs? Yeah, to we put will the inform. Other? That's what I'm saying. We'll do the, the letter to the draft letter. Just, yeah. okay. And then there were the other item. They, you know, we asked for those bounds to be set. And the uh, well, they didn't they put a couple and then they put them on, on the wrong location. Okay. Okay. So we need more because we wanted it to define the the boundary between the house and the replication work. We wanted a permanent monument. Right. And along that they didn't do that, and they didn't do this the warning signs. So. Okay. So they're not ready. No. For no. so they need to do that, and we'll send them a note, a letter saying that they need to finish that yep. before they come right. before us again. Okay. And uh, well, did you talk to them about the young lady at number sixty-one? I, I did not. Not yet. Okay. So you can. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, um, mm -hmm. sixty-one Richmond, who yep. we sent the yep. enforcement order. She has come in. She's working on her notice of intent. She has been sick also. But she's trying to finish up the few little things that she's got left to do, like okay. the abutters notice and that kind of stuff. Okay. But she did, was in on the day that we asked her to complete it. But I told her not to worry. And she is working on it. As long as she's working, she's working on, on it. She's working on it, yeah. definitely. That's fine. Yeah. We're okay. All right. We don't need to, we don't need to do any more on that one. Okay. Anything else, Azu? Um, no, I think. Oh, yes. Yes. Sorry. So we received it. Uh, um, an email and a phone call from DEP, excuse me, uh, from uh, Bernadette uh, de Blonder. She's the uh, review um, staff person for the, uh, basically for Raynham. And uh, she made a comment about the um, order of conditions and the work, what are they, uh, uh, we give them an order to work in in a resource area, which is basically the riverfront, which I uh, responded that uh, if, uh, the records show that that area was already be previously authorized, which is true, and, but they never finished the work because of economic considerations. 
and uh, that's what we allowed them that, that and that are properly existed prior to 1996 and it's not a newly created parcel what, what property is this and this is one sorry this is one for uh, the safe safe storage oh, right, uh, yes, right. okay. and so she says that thank you as i spoke with her, actually we missed oh, yeah, yeah, traded yeah. phone calls and we missed that and then uh, she got hold of me on my cell phone and then she said okay thank you well said so somebody contacted the DEP about that work? No, 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 no. She no, no. just filed. No, no. In the um, file number notice, yes. oh. it says although a file number has been issued, please uh, check that this. And uh, she didn't see how we verified that we oh. actually checked that. Yeah. And and then uh, the other one has to do also on New State Highway for the jewelry place number two ninety five. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, the person reviewing the application for the planning board of uh, uh, niche engineering asked a question about the floodplain uh, that they didn't provide compensatory storage but if you remember at the time that they uh, came for the resource area delineation mm -hmm. they talked they talked about the fact that they had that isolated wetlands and then oh, they talked yes, uh, yes. yes and then they talked about the uh, well, riverfront which they defined and then we approved that. And then they came in with their project. And at that time, they noted that the uh, floodplain uh, is tidal. And if, when it's tidal floodplain, because it, which means to, it's induced by wa coastal water rise, uh, uh, and flow on. Right. And then you don't need to do compensatory storage. But if it's inland, non-tidal, uh, then, then you have to. Right. And so... That was the information that the okay. person from Nature Engineering that was reviewing for the planning board, yeah. and then I were, and I actually I asked Gail today to send him an email, for, uh, forward the email. We received the tied information from uh, what's the name again, uh, Falan Corp, yep. Yep. Falan Corp, and then told uh, Gail to email that to Niche so that they have that. Yes, he does have it. Yeah. Already. You know. Okay. Did he confirm that he? Yes. Was, okay. Great. And so that's it. All right. Thank you. Everybody have a chance to review the minutes from January 23rd? I make a motion to accept the minutes of January 23rd, 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So moved. Any bills? Back from Florida? I thought he was going to Florida. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, he went to Florida. Well, he could take his back out. Oh, okay. wrestling a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> well, he could have strangled a cougar. <laughs> Partying at the Patriots Parade. <laughs> okay, any correspondence? Okay. Uh, any site visits? We already discussed those. Okay, I'll entertain another motion. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you.